Hi, I'm Josh, and this is Cars and Joshy. In today's video, I'm going to be installing a brand new brake line kit on my 1983 El Camino. So, let's get to it. Alright, so this is the kit that I picked up from Inline Tube. Uh, purchased this off of eBay for about 145 bucks, I think. It was a seven piece kit. It came with um, all of the hard lines you see here. It didn't come with the proportioning valve. I got that from Summit. And then the two soft lines that go uh, from the bracket over to the uh, to the caliper those up I pulled that a pick and pull off of a 2000 Camaro so I'll be using those and then so it came with the two lines that go up to the master cylinder one that comes over from the proportioning valve up over to the soft line one that runs across the K member and hooks up to the other soft line and then this one has two tabs on there two white tabs you're supposed to uh, straighten it out right there and it basically runs from the proportioning valve all the way back to the rear end and so I also bought this kit from inline tube it's a 20 piece uh, brake clamp tie down set comes with the screws and everything so that's going to be a challenge for me to figure out there because I have no idea where they go because the shop that I had tear my truck down to the frame and do the body work on when they took the brake lines off they asked me if I wanted to keep them so I knew how they were routed and I said nah I'll figure it out and uh, that was a dumbass mistake on my part I probably should have kept those but like I said I'll figure it out I kind of mocked up the the front brake lines already and I did see that that's where the soft line hooks into and it looks like junk so I'm gonna pull that bracket off and I'm gonna paint it the same with the other one over on the other side I'll pull those off and paint those and then there's another bracket that mounts up to the portioning valve over here that uh, also has some rust on it so I'll be painting that as well so that's the first thing I'm gonna do so the other two brake lines that that kit comes with is one that goes from this junction block over to what's supposed to be a tab and then the wheel cylinder um, since I'm running the F body brakes got a custom custom bend on it and then the last piece was from this junction block over to the other wheel cylinder and those were just kind of bent to fit my needs and also I had to with this quick performance rear end I had to fab up a little bracket to hold that that junction block because on your factory rear end you have a mounting provision there that's that's tapped into the, the rear end so um, but yep, yeah, those are all the all the hard lines that come with that inline tube kit.
This old bolt has some boogered up threads, so I'm going to go ahead and chase it. Rethread it. Alright, so before I tie in any of these brake lines, I want to go ahead and blow them out with some compressed air uh, from my air compressor. Just to make sure there's nothing in there that's going to get caught up in the, in the brake system. caps back on them until they're ready to be used. Alright, I'm going to try and straighten out this line using the method they talk about in the instructions, which is essentially rolling it back and forth on flat surface while straightening it. And we'll see how well it turns out. Been there that doesn't want to really come out.
Eh, straight enough. We'll uh, move it some more if we need to once it's under the truck. That ain't no good. Yep, we'll see how that runs. Alright, so these next few clips are going to be voiceover because my dumbass forgot to turn on the receiver. Um, so I recorded the next few clips with just the transmitter on. But uh, anyways, I got all the, the brackets dried out, painted and dried out. So I'm going to go ahead and install them on, on here and start mocking up the hard lines. two hard lines that go up to the master cylinder. They're going to go somewhat like this from the proportioning valve up to the master cylinder. Not too worried about them right now. Might be a little bit before I get the master cylinder put on there. Uh, I've got one piece that's going to go across the frame. It's going to clip into the soft line that clips into the bracket. And then the piece that I have right now runs across member if I can wiggle it wiggle it in here okay. I'll go ahead and bring the camera down so you guys can see what I'm looking at down here as far as how these lines mount up they're preformed, so they're, they're close, but they're still going to have to be modified just a little bit to, to sit right. But you can see right here is one of the one of the threaded holes to place one of the brake line clamps. Another one, another one right here, and then on the bracket you can see the hole where the soft line is going to come through, and it's going to have one of those retainer clips put on it and then the brake line is just going to tie into that. And the same deal on the other side. And then these got two holes right there where the portioning valve is going to mount up to. got the proportioning valve all mounted up and so you can see top two ports here go to the brake lines that go up to the master cylinder you got this port that goes across over to the left front brake caliper and there's a 
port on the bottom it goes across the K member and you can see this line probably needs the most bending because it's nowhere close to plugging up to the proportioning valve. So there you have it. That's how the front brake lines are ran down here by the proportioning valve across the K member and up over the frame to the brake brackets for the soft lines. I'm going to do the bending of the lines and the rear brake line in another video. Thanks for watching this video. This is Cars and Joshy. Josh out. I thought I'd share some quality 1980s GM craftsmanship with you guys. Check out these welds. They essentially burnt through the frame welding on the brackets for the lower control arms. I seen the same thing in the rear of the truck with the, the rear control arms. Makes me a little bit worried about the horsepower this thing's going to have.